All right, here we are again, lined up. Two guards, two forwards, forwards three feet from out of bounds, free throw line extended. The center on the free throw line at the elbow on the ball side. Guards 12 feet apart. Occasionally what's going to happen is, is the defense is going to make it difficult to pass to the forward. And what options do we have? Well, we talked about weak side play where the guard could pass back here and we initiate weak side play and that actually works best when there is lots of pressure here. So one of the options that the guard has other than passing here is to go weak side play. Another option when the guard's coming down the court is this guard just runs a forward reverse like so and we can just make the play here more like a backdoor play. The other possibility there is to pass to the center who stepped out and we could run a split. We could also run a split with this, with this player. So this guard has the option if he hits the center to split here or he may want to split here. Say if this guy dives and he hits him, he may want to cut here off this like that. So there's some options when there's pressure. Another option that we can have, other than the guard forward pass, is what we call guard weak side. In guard weak side, we do not make the guard forward pass. The guard drives hard, real hard, right at the forward. And the forward takes off and cuts to the basket, and that could be an option of passing to that forward. If the pass is not made, then we're going to reverse the ball, and this guard is going to cut around here, and we're going to look for him here. So again, if we've got a real strong guard, and he wants to call his own number, so to speak, he dribbles hard here, we reverse the ball and pass here. In this case, instead of the forward coming across, we're going to have this forward come across for the short jumper here. And that's what we call guard weak side. Let's have our guard hit the forward and go directly to the corner. This is our regular strong side. Our center is going to set up on the block. And this is typically what it looks like with this forward trying to get the ball into the center. The center is a key part to our offense. We want somebody that's aggressive, that likes to shoot the ball, but also is a good passer. We need this man to be a threat offensively. So when that happens, the defense is going to start after a while, even if we don't score them, they know we want to get the ball in there, they're going to start defensing that. They're going to be sagging off, they're going to be fronting, whatever it takes to stop this forward to center pass. If they do not, we're just going to have fun running our offense and doing all the cuts that we want. But as soon as they do that, one of our options is to run from strong side to weak side. And we discussed that if we can make this pass and this pass, we've got our cutters coming off and we can get a layup potentially. So what happens for them to stop that is they put a lot of defense out here on this guard here. So let's assume that they're uh, backing off a little bit and they're fronting and they're sagging here and they're bringing this guy in here and this is what it looks like it looks like there's no way we can get it in here uh, maybe this man's already taken a couple threes and missed uh, so we want to reverse the ball but now we look here and they've got pressure here obviously if we throw the ball away here that could be devastating see I'm going all the way for a layup so what we do is have this guy break up into here 
and make this pass. This is what we call back door. Back door will go real good against pressure here because on this pass, this guard's going to break here. Now he can break tight or he can break wide, depending on the skills of this player and the quickness. Sometimes our slower players and good shooters will go out wide for the three. Some of our fast players will come right on by and get the layup. Or you could have a combination of the two. And these players do a split just as if they passed it to the center. He comes in here. He comes in here. So they're denying us the right to do the split. We're going ahead and do the split. What that means now is this man here at the ball, he can give this off. He can shoot. He can turn and hit the center. Or he can hit any one of these players splitting, just depending on how the defense plays against uh, the, uh, all our offensive patterns here. So here we have the offense set up, strong side, our strong side triangle, center at the block, guard in the corner, forward with the ball, other guard at the top, and our forward down here. Trying to get the ball into the center, but we got denial. We talked about we can flash up this man and run back door. We'd like to have the forward to have another option, and that option is that, especially when we got this type of pressure here and pressure here, and maybe they're even doing a good job here, this man can drive to the elbow. On the drive to the elbow, this guard goes to the basket. This forward here goes to the basket. So whether this forward was up here or down here, he ends up going to the basket. This guard goes to the basket. All right? So here we have our forward, our guard, our center forward here, and this man going here. So one option is for this man to shoot the ball from the elbow, and we got some good rebounding triangle here. If he does not elect to shoot the ball from this spot here, this forward is going to come around here, these two forming this double screen, and here's the option here. So this makes a nice play where if we're having a little trouble running back door, he can put the ball on the floor, get a shot, or get the forward here. Another option is that this man's playing him real tight. This guard's coming down here. He can fake that way and come around this way, and we can make the pass there. So here's we have a forward dribble. Instead of running our pass to the back door, we run the forward dribble to the back door. And then our strong side forward, or excuse me, our weak side forward comes off the screens. So we encourage this guy to be aggressive shooting, or he can pass the ball off. Up until now, we talked about our basic set of being two guards where the guards are parallel about 10 to 12 feet apart, our center at the elbow on the ball side, and our forwards free throw line extended about three feet from out of bounds. Generally speaking in this set, the guard that's bringing the ball down the court is our best dribbler. He may be one of our best players. Um, but typically he's controlling the call. He's going to make the pass to the forward and make one of those four cuts we were talking about, or he's going to drive to the forward and do a, a guard weak side. Uh, he's pretty much in control. This guard here may also be an outstanding player, but he's not the, maybe the dribbler that this guy is. But if we want to exchange roles here, where this guy still dribbles the ball down, 
but we want to have an exchange. We have we do what we call tandem guards. Tandem guards. So now, instead of the guards coming down parallel, we have a lead guard ahead. Tandem just means one in front of the other. So now, as the ball comes down the court, this man actually turns and faces this way um, as this man comes down the court. Now, we can initialize it any way we want here, but these guys become a team and learn to work together, so it works out pretty good. So this guard could just go by what this man does. Or this man could do by what this does. For instance, if this guard just takes off this way, he would break this way. Okay? Or we may have this guard coming down here and just waiting for this guy to break one way or the other. Just say he breaks that way. All right. Now, the first pass being to a forward or to a guard back, now this is to a guard forward. So we're going guard to guard, but it's forward. So when we make that forward pass, it does not initiate a weak side play. This really is just changing this guard's assignment with this guard's assignment. Now this man has the ball. He turns, faces the basket. He has all of these options now of running strong side one, Strong side two, guard dribble, going opposite, going guard weak side, or even going back to the other guard and going weak side play. So now he can make this pass, and he's going to either cut here, cut here, cut here, cut here, all of the options. So tandem guards is just a way of, of relieving some pressure, potentially, or just changing assignments with the other guard. Okay, here we are back again to our regular set. Forwards, free throw line extended, about three feet from out of bounds. Center at the elbow on the ball side. And our two guards spaced about 10 or 12 feet apart. X just means that it's generally a coach's call, but it doesn't have to be. And the X just means that when the ball goes strong side, the, the, the weak side players, the center and the weak side forward are changing assignments or changing positions. So on the basic play where we go to the strong side here, and we're setting up the triangle, ball here. Typically, the center is going to be setting up on the block. Here with X, we have the center come here, the forward's always coming diving in here, and he comes across, and now you have your forward here, and your center becomes the forward on here, on this side. Everything else is exactly the same. It works best when you're running a strong side one, but as we go along, we could adapt that to run at any of these, okay? X, we have a quick exchange of the forward and the center on the weak side.